I will definitely tell you that one of the best feelings is probably right here, right now. We are packed up. We're getting ready to hit the road. Uh, this is going to be covering the trip out to Oklahoma, the Stubborn American. Try to see how many episodes I can get in, along with filming the rest of a documentary I've been working on for quite a bit of time. But today we're going to hit the road leaving San Diego, and we are going to be heading to Tucson, Arizona. So let's go. Seriously, this is getting worse and worse. We're leaving California at $6.57 a gallon. Well, what is going on? How are you today? It is great to see you. Uh, we are back on the road, as I mentioned, on another road trip. And I plan on taking you guys to some more unique places. In fact, uh, we're going to be coming up on one in just a few minutes here that I, I have passed by maybe, we'll say 50 times in my life while traveling. And I've always wanted to stop. I thought it was very interesting. Uh, there's like spaceships and stuff there. It's in between San Diego uh, and Imperial County right before you go down to the grade. So I'll get into that in a minute. One of the things for this trip, I've made some, you know, small additions. One, I snapped my highway peg on the last road trip. That thing just broke in half. So I had to get new highway pegs on, which I swapped out myself. Zero assistance needed. All right, so I made it all about five minutes down the road and I just put new highway pegs on and Glad I caught that on time. It's time for some uh, some Loctite. Literally, we're like five minutes into the ride. Let's fix it. But we are heading out to the Stubborn American. Super excited. That is, in my opinion, the party of the year you want to be at it's it's a ton of fun and that is out in Moyers Oklahoma at the K River campground uh, it, you know got some first timers coming with me uh, on this trip and that's gonna be the wife who I'm gonna pick up in Dallas she's gonna fly in there and then we'll take her into Moyers and my buddy Scott and his wife Heather who if you guys watch the 12 days behind bar series I stayed with them out at their house and this will be their first time there so super excited you know, got those nerves that I hope they enjoy it as much as, as I do. But yeah, it's uh, it feels really, really good to be back out on the road and filming some more stuff, trying to complete another documentary. It just feels really good. It's a beautiful day out. It's like 83 degrees and we are just cruising right along. So how lucky were we when we were coming in here that this was on, was on a scheduled plan stop because I don't know if you guys saw when we were coming in here, but there was a lot of traffic and they actually have the, the grade going down, completely blocked off. No traffic is going uh, eastbound on the 8 from San Diego into Imperial County. Typically, unfortunately, that only happens when there is a fatality accident. So hopefully everybody's okay, but 
This is called Desert View Tower. Let's take a look. So pretty much this sign is saying that 1862 to 1870, uh, about a mile north of here, it says Peter Larkin and Joe Stancliffe used a stone house as a, uh, as a store for like ox teams and things like that. So, I mean, this, this area goes back quite a ways. So the gift shop uh, at the top, that's like kind of the gift shop level. And then you can actually go to the top of this tower right here. And then there's some boulder adventures that you can walk through. It's $9.50 to go through it and explore it. Obviously there's upkeep. So we are going to partake in this. So just grabbing the wallet. You know, so once you pay your $9.50, you actually get access to this room, the staircase and some of the rock formations. So we're checking that out right now. Let's go up top. So each level is filled with different like artifacts and pieces of, of history. I would recommend it. $9.50 well spent. I guess the good news is, is by taking advantage of this tower, I hope we can see the roadway and we're able to see if uh, they opened up traffic. It just keeps going. Traffic's moving again. That's a good thing. The guy at the counter was nice enough to give me some, some quarters to take advantage of the telescope. It kind of goes one more level. Should we go one more level? So we're at the top. If this is as, as high as you can get, we're at the top of this tower that I've passed by at least 50 times in my life. That all that flat area right there, Ocotillo, Ocotillo Wells, and then uh, the Glamis Sand Dunes. We're gonna be heading that way. Let's go check out these uh, rock formations. So this area is considered to be an Inkopa, uh, and also the Hakumba area of, uh, you know, the eastern portion of San Diego. Now the guide up front basically says they encourage you to be a kid around here and you can go ahead and climb on any of the rocks. Something rare these days, you know? They want you just to explore, have a good time. Definitely a unique experience uh, that I mean, if you're passing by the eight, you might as well take advantage of it. It's literally right off the, the road. You go down a little side area, you know, it gets a little bit rough, but it's only about, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile and then you're here. All right, the wind's starting to pick up and we have a lot more miles to go today. So let's jump back on the bike, get on the road and let's get to Tucson. Now, as you come in here, you got, uh, you know, just some things. I don't know if this is just where people are stowing it or what, but I forgot to ask the guy, what's the deal with the like spaceship things? Interesting. Boy, those guys are just living the dream, huh? All right. So apparently they might be trying to blow up one of the boulders that fell onto the roadway up here. I can see the traffic has stopped again. Uh, a little bit behind schedule, but hopefully we can get over to Yuma quickly, top off our tank, and just really lay down some miles here because we still got several hours to go. And I do want to make it to Tucson, so. Let's get back on the road, see what's going on. Maybe we'll pass by a huge boulder in the middle of the roadway. I don't know. All right, 
so I think we're gonna use our fast pass today. So at the time filming this, this is Monday the 25th and I'm just, I can't tell you how pumped I am to be, you know, right back on the road. Like I mentioned, this is where I feel, um, I should say the most at peace is out here on the road. You know, that's the thing about the motorcycle, you, you really never get bored on a road trip. So we made it to our first gas stop, which is gonna be Yuma, Arizona, just so we can compare the ridiculous prices. 4.79 here, almost uh, two dollars, I think, just under two dollars difference between California, and Arizona, neighboring state. Go figure. But I'm just gonna rest my legs for a few minutes, then we're gonna continue on. And uh, I mean, if you follow this channel, you know probably what's gonna happen next. We're gonna need a date shake. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, as we're coming through this second portion of the, the valley area through Arizona, I'm gonna be stopping by Dateland to grab ourselves a, a date shake. You know, I just sit there and just do some some reflections on the absolute beauty of this country and just being able to be out here on the open road with your thoughts. Uh, sometimes it's music, but with your thoughts. You can shut the music down and legitimately just take it all in. So tonight in Tucson, I'm actually staying at a, a really unique hotel uh, that's called Hotel McCoy. I'm excited to show you guys this hotel and and its features. When I was looking at places to stay, I wanted to I wanted to try something new. I didn't want to do uh, maybe a chain hotel. I was trying to find you know just a you know mom and pop kind of place or. Uh, a unique place to stay and I believe that I found one at Hotel McCoy so let's get up here we'll have a date shake chat for a minute and then we'll push on towards Tucson here we go So I know I told this story one time before, but uh, there was my first date shake experience where I decided to, I don't know, big guy, I need a, I need a large shake. And I did not realize how much of a natural laxative the date shake is. And therefore on the way home, uh, I don't think we even made it to Yuma. We might've made it a little bit past Yuma, but uh, there was some emergency stopping. Thank you. 
so here's something that I found somewhat interesting. You know, I was just thinking about that. I have traveled this particular stretch of road a ton of times. And by far, this, this particular stretch of road is, I would say, the least aesthetically pleasing to the eye uh, part of the, the, the trip. Up until about, you know, I'd say three quarters of the way through Arizona, you know, there's, it's it's flat. There's some desert land. It's not all that fantastic. But even with all that being said, it's still amazing out here. I've traveled this road at so many different times of day, and now we're now in the late afternoon. In about two hours, we're gonna hit uh, sunset, and it's just a, a perfect time of day for it. So just because you've uh, ridden a route it hits different every single time just based on the shadows the light you know depending on rainfall it, it might be greener in the area than it was the last time but it's pretty awesome and we're almost to that you know halfway point of Arizona which means it just gets prettier from here so let's get on it All right, the sun is setting. Uh, I swapped out the glasses. We still have like, I don't know, 93 miles. Definitely, uh, definitely behind today. But let's get on the road. I love this time of day to ride. So it was a pretty long, hot day today. We're here at Hotel McCoy. That was just a quick glimpse of what this room looks like. It's like retro, but new style. I can't explain it, it's pretty cool. Ryan uh, had hail. Ow, holy crap, that hurt. We are out here in the wilderness in Redoso, New Mexico. Uh, my legs were cramping up in the middle of the night. There's a plane, I think it's getting ready to land. Maybe that's her. Hi, baby. Uh, provided me with this. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, you ride safe, you be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.